shout, scream, whoop, and cheer for Rory Murray! Oh, hello. Uh, can anyone shout out the answer to this? I'd like to start with a question. Can anybody tell me the uh, the name of the Whitney Houston song that was in Bodyguard? Oh, I will always love you. I will always love you. I will always love you. Originally done by Dolly Parton. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. To... The idea is she just says, "I will always love you," and I look smug. Originally done by Dolly Parton. And it was originally done by Dolly Parton. Thanks for. And she made lots of money from that. Brilliant. Good. Good. Well, I. Uh, you probably can't tell, but uh, I have actually been working on my intros, not with these guys. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I was uh, I was looking at other ways. I, I, I wanted to do something outside of comedy, so I like to watch a bit of boxing. Uh, now, at the start of a boxing match, you have the girls that come on in the bikinis. And I was thinking, I could bring that to comedy. I could bring that to comedy. So I, uh, I tried it a few weeks ago. Uh, it was a it was a fucking disaster. <laughs> my uh, my balls kept popping out of the bikini. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. So uh, some topical stuff. Did you say? Yes, I do. <laughs> some. So snow. A lot of snow recently, wasn't there? I I live outside of London. We had loads, and we still have some, but it's turned to slush, which is fucking annoying. Now there's a lot of bad things in the world. You know, there's genocides, there's terrorism, there's death. This Jedward. <laughs> but one of the worst things I've found is walking around in wet shoes. Uh, it's fucking horrible. Now people say, you should just wear wellies. You should wear the evening standards and wellies are in this season. You should wear wellies. I can't wear wellies. The problem is every time I put my feet in a pair of wellies, I hear the song Kinky Boots. <laughs> so I'm walking like Kinky Boots. Kinky Boots. Kinky Boots. I can't do that. I can't do it, so I don't wear welly, so I have to put up with it, and I'm walking around knowing that I'm probably going to get athlete's foot. Mm -hmm. oh. I wouldn't mind, but it never makes me any faster. <laughs> <laughs> just, just itches. Just itches. Uh, so yeah, I, I, had a, I had a weird dream the other night. It, was, it, it, it wasn't a shit one like um, Martin Luther King's one, that wasn't it. I have a dream. Uh, it was a bit true, I was yeah, I have a dream that one day my... Are there going to be any dragons or boobs in it? <laughs> uh, no. I'm not interested, okay? So I had a dream, and I was listening to... Before bed, I'd listen to some late 90s alternative rock music. Ooh. Yeah. And in my dream, I, I was the lead singer of a late 90s alternative rock group. I woke up, turns out it's just a placebo effect. <laughs> uh, that's always good. It's better than silence. And, uh, thank you. So, yeah. Anyway, there's a uh, uh, people always oh yeah Will Smith he's a nice guy aren't they he's, he's a nice guy he's a uh, yeah he's urban but he's friendly urban <laughs> but friendly he's got kids a wife everything yeah. he's a nice guy he's not he's not a nice guy uh, I found out recently uh, his hit single getting jiggy with it was actually a diss song directed at Michael J Fox. Oh. <laughs> Don't kill the messenger, that's, that's true. But not all these celebrities are bad. Like, if you look back in history, Bob Marley he used to give up his time to be a photographer for uh, the charity calendars people do. So, you know, you get, like, firemen doing them and policemen doing them. And apparently it inspired the song, I Shot the Sheriff. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was before digital cameras, so he'd run out of film before the deputy got there. But that's what we used to, used to do photo shoots for them. Which is just crazy. It's unbelievable almost. Uh, so yeah, I try and do nice things as well. My big thing, I hate discrimination. So I try and treat everything completely fairly. So for example, I always, always, always piss in disabled toilets. They work just as well as the normal toilets. <laughs> Yeah, the other thing, charity. I like to do a bit of charity. So we had Movember recently, didn't we? Yay! Yay! I didn't do that. I did the other one, Cocktober. <laughs> Basically involved me getting my dick out in public in a different place <laughs> for the month of October. I did raise quite a bit. The final, the final nice thing I did, which I'm going to leave you with, is, uh, and you can do this as well, uh, whenever I stay in a hotel, on the mirror, like in the bathroom, I write a message with my finger. And it means that when it steams up, 
you can see the message. <laughs> so you can leave a message for the guest, the next guest coming, like, enjoy your trip, have a nice day, or they'll never find a body. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. Anyway, you've been the audience. Thank you to the lady that said she will always love me. I've been Rory Moran. Cheers. And good night. <laughs> my girlfriend are you cheating on me i leave for five minutes literally exactly five minutes i timed it in 0.77 seconds you have chlamydia 